Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. All right, so I wanted to go over the learning D's insulins, and we're using a play on letters with the D's as the word these, T-H-E-S-E. And there are four groups of insulins that you need to know, rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. So we're gonna use the words learning and D's because there are two letter D's, okay? So the L-E-A of learning reminds you of Lyspro, the L, which is Humalog, and Aspart, Novalog. The E doesn't really mean anything. Okay, so those are the rapid acting ones that have that peak at about an hour. And those are the ones where we kind of make sure uh, to have some food uh, very soon. Second is the regular insulin. So Humulin R, Novalin R, you could put the prompt insulin zinc in here, that semi-lenti, but that would be short acting. So L and A are Lyspro and Aspart, rapid. R is regular, short acting. N is NPH for, and many people don't know what this stands for, but neutral protamine hagedorn. Uh, that's humulin N and novelin N. And then we could use the I for insulin zinc, which is lente. Uh, that would be intermediate acting, and the N and I are both from the word intermediate. And then the G of learning would be glargine, uh, which is Lantus. And the Ds, again, we're using a play on words of these, Detamir, which is Levamir, and Deglutic, which is Traceba uh, insulins. So Lyspro, Aspart, Regular, NPH, Insulin Zinc, which is Lente, Glargine, Detamir, and Degludec. That's the order that you want. And again, that peak for the intermediates is around four to 10 hours and long actings are without a peak and they, they tend to last around 24 hours. But uh, that's how you can remember the insulins in order. And once you get them in order, then you can start putting all of those other details in there. But those four divisions are the most important thing that you need to do with these insulins. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.